Hey, how's it going on YouTube? Welcome back to another brand new video. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can improve your FPS and get better performance in all new Fortnite OG. This is one of the best season I have encountered so far and I believe a lot of you guys too. So make sure to watch this video till the end to get better performance. Don't forget to skip any step and also leave your specs down in the comments below so I can reply to each one of you individually. And with all that said, let's get started. Alright, I'm pretty excited to make this video, so let's begin up with step number one, that is essential window settings. And of course, you need to open up settings on your PC for that, and then go all the way down to gaming. Over here, you will find game bar and you need to turn this thing off. Game bar by default consumes a lot of memory in the background and it will also impact your gaming performance. Right after that, you need to go to game mode and then make sure to enable game mode. Enabling game mode will get you better performance, it will optimize your PC by turning things off in the background allowing you to get better performance whenever you're playing the games. Right after that you will find graphic settings, you need to click on that and you will be coming onto this page. Now if you're using Windows 11 you'll find change default graphic settings and in here you need to enable both hardware extractor GPU scheduling as well as optimizations for windowed games. This will help you to decrease your input latency and utilize your GPU over your CPU whenever you're playing the games. After that click on graphics back again and in here you'll find a list of all of the apps and games that uses your gpu to play so over here you will find fortnite added in this list now you need to go to options and then select high performance right over here and that will be utilizing your gpu you also need to select your fortnite launcher and add it just in case you do not have fortnite by default added in this list you can always click on the browse button and then go to the installation directory of your game Step number two is deanimating your windows. Windows by default has a ton of animations which can be disabled to increase the performance. So to disable those animations, you can simply search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows, select adjust for best performance over here, and then click on show thumbnails instead of icons as well as smooth edges of screen fonts so that you can get better performance whenever playing the game. Right after that, you need to go to advanced section and for the virtual memory, click on change, open up calculator on the side and for this virtual memory, I'll show you guys how to do it. For the initial size, set it to 1361. This is basically just a little bit above 1 GB of your RAM. Then you need to search for system information on your PC and look for your installed physical memory on your PC. For me, it is 32 GB. So I will write in 32 and multiply it with 1024 that is in megabytes. So this is your memory in megabyte. What you need to do is divide it by two and whatever value you get it, you can simply paste it in the maximum size and that will set your virtual memory on your PC. Setting up virtual memory will get you best performance in your games. Step number four is fixing all of your network issues using Gear Up Booster. Gear Up Booster helps you guys to get better performance by tunneling your internet right through your games to the game server and in this way there is no third party involved affecting your internet that will fix your ping issues latency issues and packet loss you can download it for completely free from the link in the description below and once you open up the application it should look like this now they have a ton of games over here and you will find fortnite right on top you can simply click on the boost button and without any setting it will automatically add fortnite to boosting now you guys can see it shows me an estimation of 42 ping and that is an improvement of 175%. So that will help us to get best performance out in terms of ping. And since Gira Booster is the pro's choice, you are completely safe using this application even while competitive gaming. Now once again, you have an option to pick your servers. So if you're based in North America, you will get much higher competitive benefits out from this application. Make sure to go check out Gira Booster to improve your gameplay's performance. Links are in the description below. Step number four is creating a restore point and for that you need to simply search for create a restore point on your PC. In system protection you will find your local disk C. Simply click on create and name it Fortnite OG. Just something you can remember it with and simply click on create. I highly recommend you guys not to skip this step because it is really essential in saving your system. Just in case you want to revert any settings back to normal without any data loss, it will help you guys. Next step is downloading the Fortnite OG FPS pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. You can simply go and download it from there. And if you guys are facing any issues, you can always join my Discord server for a detailed downloading tutorial. Once you open this thing up, you will find in four simple folders. First one is CPU priority. Simply open it up and you will find an AMD and Intel CPU priority. 
Now you have to find out which CPU that you're using. I currently use AMD CPU, so I need to run the AMD CPU priority. But if you're using an Intel CPU, you can run the Intel CPU priority. Second folder is the RAM optimization. And over here, I use 32 GB RAM, but I have left a ton of presets. According to your PC, you can select any one of them. And if you don't like the performance, you can always reset them back to default. Third folder is the Fortnite optimization. And in here, you will find in Fortnite priority. Now you can simply double click to run this thing and that will set your Fortnite priority to highest and that will fix all kind of micro stuttering and stuttering over here. Third one is the Fortnite optimization and you will find in Fortnite priority in here. This will help you to optimize your game priority and it will help you to fix all of those micro stuttering and lagging issues constantly affecting your gameplay. Lastly is the Windows important tweaks and these are completely optional. If all of the other folders helped you out, you can continue to do it or you can feel free to do them if you want maximum performance. This will disable unnecessary services to unnecessary background apps to downloading maps, transparency and a lot more features by Windows which are consuming memory in the background and affecting your gameplay. Disabling them will fix all of that and these are not really required on your PC. Once again, if you want to revert all of them back, you can always revert them back from here. Once you're done with the FPS pack, you can launch your game and follow the best in game settings. Okay, once you're in your game, what you do is press your escape button and then go all the way down to settings. Okay, once you're in the settings, go over to video and set your window mode to full screen. Then your resolution to your native resolution, vSync to be turned off and frame rate limit should be turned unlimited. Then your rendering mode should be low graphical fidelity since this will help you to get much better performance. However, you can always select DX11 as well. Then colorblind mode, I suggest you guys to use Protonope or Tritonope since they get you better visibility and your colorblind scent should be set to 7. For 3D resolution, I personally prefer 100% but if you guys use a super low end computer, you can use anywhere between 80 to 100. Then, Nanite virtualized geometry should be turned off. View distance, I have kept it to epic but you can keep it medium or far. Textures and meshes should be set to low and show FPS turned on. And with that said, these are the best settings for playing the game. So guys, that was it for this video. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could have, make sure to do leave a like and smash your subscribe button. We'll see you guys with another brand new video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.